So after smashing the ceiling in 2017, you're back to reprise your role as Diana Prince, Wonder Woman. And you're also serving as a producer. Can you talk a little bit about what it was like this time around on set and also how you balanced your producing responsibilities? Um, Yes. So, you know, in the first one, I got to say that I I was overwhelmed with the fact that I'm going to shoot a movie that is going to be entirely around my, I'm going to play the title of the movie, right? So I always felt like the little girl looking at the Kilimanjaro mountain and thinking, oh my God, how am I going to climb all the way up? But then um, as much as, you know, it was, it was, it took a lot of work and everything, but I, I realized that this is something possible and that I can do it. And especially having partners like Patty Jenkins and Chuck Roven and our amazing cast. Uh, on the second one, I felt like I had a totally different um, um, experience. Um, first of all, being a producer, you're involved from you know A to Z, from casting new characters to building the new story to footprint and of where we're, which location we're going to be shooting in. There's so much, there's like an entire new world you discover about movie making, which is super, super fascinating for me. Um, And I got to say that, you know, in a way, uh, the fact that both Petty and I are super close and super in this together and, and, and we talk about everything as it is, it was like, that, that was the, the uh, you know, we were always on the same page and the produ- producerial part of it was, was super um, educating and, and fascinating. And especially when you work with people like Chuck Roven, who's like the mayor of all producers uh, ever, the best producer I ever got to work with. Um, you learn so much and the process was delightful because this movie was so ambitious and so challenging that there's so many things um, that, I, that I now know that I would have ever learned unless I was a producer on this movie. So you also managed to find time to bring some amazing, amazing action scenes to Wonder Woman 1984. Can you tell us about what it was like working on these action scenes and how you prepped and worked to pull them off? They look super intense. Yes, they were. And actually, Patty made a point about making sure that we have minimum amount of CGI uh, in our film, which meant which meant that you know we had to do much more, and our stunt team has teams had to do much more, and we had to build rigs that people are not using now just because they use CGI for all this stuff. So if we if it was the mall scene, we had an entire mall dressed like the 80s just for ourselves and the entire like uh, ceiling was was rigged with wires and and like stuff all around it and it was, it was very like it took a lot of time to create and to establish all of that and it took a lot of time to rehearse all of that we have the best stunt team in the world um and they've just you know they've done an amazing amazing job making sure that everything looks as real as possible so literally when you watch the movie you can now see the difference um, you can see that it's all real, that the weight and the speed and the, you know, the mimics and the expressions in the face are real faces. Um, so it's great. I'm very, very proud of it. It was a lot of work, um, but it was worth it. Moving along, funny gal Kristen Wiig joins the cast, but in a more serious role in this movie. Right. Uh, can you tell us what it was like working with Kristen and what she brings to the character of it Barbara? It was the best! Yeah. I love Kristen is the best. Kristen is so funny and such a good friend and such a ger- generous partner and just like she made the, the 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 process so delightful for me. We literally did like SNL's like you know skits while shooting, you know, between 
you know, while they were changing sets or, or shots or whatever. She's funny, she's fun, she's smart, she's, she's just like, she's, she's, she's amazing. I love her so much. I, I love hearing that. And that probably was a blast on set. Like, and by the way, and also she's super talented and she did, she's done an amazing, I feel like she was given such a challenging art to play, arc to play, and she nailed it from being the insecure, vulnerable, shy person to like a super vicious, strong, scary, dark uh, character. And she gave all different colors and in all different ranges. And she's so talented. She's the best. That's great to hear. I, we got to wrap up, but I want to ask one quick question, which is universal to all of you. Why do you think Wonder Woman resonates with so many people around the world? Wonder Woman stands for love and for compassion and empathy and peace. And I think this is something we all love and we all can connect to. And, you know, so, so she's just her biggest weapon and her biggest tool is her heart. And that's, that's, that's why people likes her so much. She's just, she's good.